GearWire is on the floor of AES 2006, and I'm standing here with Rick Kanata from Foztex. How are you? Pretty good. How are you? Good. Now, you have some new stuff to show us. Uh, let's start with the rack monitor here. Okay. What we have here is a 1U rack monitor with high-res monitoring. It works off of AES EBU, so you've got a digital input, or you can send in a straight analog input. It has two channels of stereo, and you can select what channel that comes out of both speakers, so you could have left out of both speakers, right out of both speakers, or, of course, stereo. Uh, again, the resolution on the monitoring is very, very high, so you get a real accurate monitor. It's mainly suited for machine rooms where they need real critical uh, confidence monitoring of the audio coming through or, of course, the audio leveling. Now, uh, you, you mentioned machine rooms. What application would that have for uh, a musician or a studio producer? We see some of these going in musicians where they have the, the desktop set up with like pro tools and stuff like that where they don't want... To, to have sent something to the main speakers for whatever reason. They just want to give a quick listen. They don't have a lot of space. They just plug it in, put in a channel select, and they can hear what's coming out of the workstation with not a lot of space being used. What's the advantage of having that? I know when you're not, when you're not sending to the whole house system, you're just doing a quick reference to make sure something's working. Uh, you know, What's the advantage of spending that extra money to put that in your rack? Basically, it, in, a, in a pro environment, it comes down to rack real estate. They don't want to have, you know, big speakers laying all over the place because they don't have the room for it. This just takes, of course, one rack space of space, and they can put it at the top of the rack. It's easy accessible. They can see the meters at a glance that there's audio coming through. If they need to actually hear the audio, they just push the button, and it's real estate is what it comes down to. And that's it from the floor of AES 2006. I'm Joe Wallace for GearWire.com.